Engraftment occurs when the new stem cells you received for your transplant begin to grow and make new blood cells. This is often shown by a rising white cell count. If you have had a peripheral blood stem cell transplant, engraftment will usually occur within two weeks. If you have had a transplant with stem cells collected from the bone marrow, engraftment will usually take between two to three weeks. During the time following the transplant, your blood counts will be monitored daily. In particular, we will be looking at your absolute neutrophil count, sometimes referred to as ANC. Neutrophils, a type of white blood cell, play an important role in fighting infection from bacteria, viruses, and fungus. During the time that your white count is low, your risk for infection will be high. Although you will be receiving several medications to prevent infections, it is very common to develop fevers. If you do, you will be started on one or more intravenous antibiotics to treat the infection. If the fever doesn't get better, you may receive additional treatment. In order to help prevent infection, we strongly suggest that you wash your hands regularly, take good care of your mouth, and check your skin for any possible problems. If at any time during or after transplant you notice any change from your normal health, please tell the transplant team. We will also be checking your red blood cells, hemoglobin, and platelets to determine whether you will need a transfusion. If your hemoglobin is low, you may have low energy and may get short of breath when you exert yourself. Low platelets will put you at risk of bruising or bleeding. If mouth sores are bad and you are unable to eat a satisfactory number of calories, food will be provided in the form of an intravenous solution through your catheter until you can maintain a satisfactory diet. When your marrow starts engrafting, your blood counts will begin to go up. As the number of white cells, red cells, and platelets increase, you will slowly begin to recover your strength and improve your ability to fight infections. If you have received a bone marrow transplant from a related donor or an unrelated donor, you may develop GVHD. Graft versus host disease, or GVHD, happens when your new bone marrow begins to grow, but the new blood cells do not recognize you as the correct host and begin to attack your body. GVHD can be either short-term, known as acute, or long-lasting, called chronic. It can also be mild or severe. The three most common areas for acute GVHD to develop symptoms are the skin, liver, and gut. You need to be aware and look for the following signs and report them to your medical team immediately. A generalized all-over body rash, which can cause itching. The rash will most likely start behind your ears, on the palms of your hands, the bottom of your feet, or your chest. Pain in your right upper belly. Weight gain of 10 to 15 pounds yellowing of the eyes, or large amounts of watery diarrhea. After three to four months, you may experience symptoms of chronic graft-versus-host disease. These symptoms can continue and occur up to one year after your transplant. These symptoms include dry eyes, dry mouth, sores in the mouth, thickening of the skin which can feel very stiff, joint pain, liver problems, and limitation of movement. If you experience any of these symptoms, please call the BMT pager at 313-660-0931 so they can advise you for treatment. Both GVHD and its treatment are likely to overpower your immune system, making you more likely to get infections that can be dangerous to your life. Infections may be bacterial, fungal, 
or viral. One of these infections is the cytomegalovirus, also known as CMV. This is a common virus that we are exposed to as a child and may start up again during transplant. The BMT team will be monitoring you closely for all of these infections and start treatment as needed. So it is very important that you follow the safety instructions we give you to prevent infections.